Hey no babes and welcome back to my channel here in this video I'm going to be going ahead and showing you guys how I am going to be going ahead and organizing my glitters because they have been driving me crazy and it's been a mess so I really 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 want to show you guys how I'm going to be organizing them today and if you guys are new to my channel my name is Jess and I do tips and other videos so like I said here in this video I'm going to be going ahead and show you guys how I'm going to be organizing my glitters as well as how much i have and just to show you guys a little bit of my collection as well so make sure to keep on watching if you guys want to stay tuned to see what i have and how i'm going to be organizing it and how i used to have it organized and also if you guys are new do not forget to subscribe do not forget to turn on the bell so that you get notified to my upload and also i'm going to be going ahead and giving you guys a little haul so i'm really excited to be going ahead and showing you guys what i got and please ignore my nails as you can see they are looking a mess so I have been having these on for a while now and as you can see here on this hand I have a lot a lot of lifting that I just went ahead and removed because we do not need lifting so I am going to be going ahead and giving myself a fill soon so make sure to stay tuned for some new nail designs that I have coming up so make sure to stay tuned for that but first before we begin I am going to be going ahead and showing you guys what I got so if you guys want to see what I got make sure to keep on watching and also do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy and let's get to showing you guys what I got today so here's this bag this bag is from Michael's as you can see so I'm going to be going ahead and showing you guys everything that I got from this there so i did get some new glitters which i shouldn't have but i did but before i show you guys the glitters that i got i do want to show you guys these new containers that i went ahead and got from michael's as well so this is the brand and what it is if anybody's interested so basically it already comes like in a box and it does come with a little stackable jar so it does come with six columns and in each one it has five i believe so i'm really or six i believe i am really excited to be going ahead and putting my glitters in here and this is gonna be going ahead and organizing them so it does have 30 containers in each so here i have one and i did go ahead and buy three of these just I feel like it's still not going to be enough. I feel like I'm probably going to need to buy some more. But I do want to also go ahead and show you guys the new glitters that I got. So this is the first one. This is from the Grand Recollections. And I got it in the color Raspberry. This is the extra fine glitter. And I got the big one because they did not have the small one. So I was just like, whatever. This is going to like last me forever. So I got it in the color Raspberry. As you can see, it's a really pretty pink. And I also got some other pinks here. So this is more of like a neonish pink. This is in bubblegum. Again, extra, extra fine glitter. And this is the size difference. So this is 1.4 ounces or 1.5 ounces. Sorry. And this is 4.58 ounces. So just so you guys could see a difference. This one was $3.99, I believe. So like $4.00 five the most i believe and then this one was ten dollars this one was 9.99 so just to show you guys a little size difference as well as color difference so this next one that i have was this really pretty light pink this is in the color blush and again the same brand as these two and again this is an extra extra fine glitter which is the glitter the kind of glitter that i like to use i like to use really really fine glitter because it's easier to work with and last but not least i also went ahead and got this little mix that is um, I don't know if every Michaels has this, but in my Michaels, it does have like a little kind of like dollar section. I think it's like under like $5 and under, I believe. So I got this glitter um, mix that I found. So this is the brand Geology, something like that. So this is Christmas glitter. Um, this is $4.99 and it does come with four different mixes. So this first one it's like why with kind of like snowflakes i believe like some reindeers and some big hexagons as well as with some like opal kind of hexagons as well as you could see there and this one right here next to it these are just like little christmas trees with like white and blue ab glitters and then here we have this like red and white and silver one with like stars the hexagons the little small hexagons white hexagons as well this one was kind of cute and then this one like sold me this is kind of the reason why i got it so this one is like green red um hexagons in different sizes as well as little red circles so this one's really pretty i thought this would be like a really nice for a glitter ombre same with this red one 
and yeah i really like this one this one the only reason i kind of got it was for the white glitter but these are some really big reindeers which i was like oh my god these are not gonna fit on now so yeah i got this glitter mix as well so this is what i added to my glitters now i am going to be going ahead and showing you guys my actual collection right now and showing you guys everything that i have as you can see i do have this case which this used to be my old case that i would use to take to school whenever i was still going to school so um this was like the middle part of it and it did come with this like extra lid so this is how i store my glitters right now and this is what i have here in my collection so as you can see i have a big big variety so i have some in bags i do already have some in these containers so you know some of it i just kind of need to like reorganize but you can see um everything is either in bags or little so little containers like this which honestly you guys i'm tired of i'm tired of these little containers this is why i want like a better organization system for my glitters because everything's either in bags or containers and like big containers like this and it's not even like filled all the way up if that makes sense so yeah i just wanted to get more also to have space so as you can see this actual like um container it's pretty deep if you guys get quite sure that's cutting on my glitter but i also do have like way more underneath as you can see here so i do have a lot of this brand which this is the glitter it's coming like little packets of like 24 and they cost like 30 dollars on my clothes these are really expensive these i actually got like at a garage sale like a long time ago and um it came with all of these so girl i bought them for like a really good deal so as you can see i do have a variety of these um i also do have a whole bunch of different brands in here like you say nail sprinkles i have a lot that i got from the subscription of house supplies also some of these um are from michael's walmart amazon like a lot of these mylar's as you can see i do have a lot of mylar and i kind of just want to organize everything into its own section like put all the mylar together put all the chunky ones together all the fine ones together if that makes sense especially because i also do have chunky ones that kind of have like a design or if not just chunky like this or just like a big big variety of glitters honestly like this that's like kind of a mix already some of these mixes are already in here and big chunky ones as well um like i said i do have like mylar in here mixed in so yeah just a whole bunch of brands again the recollections this is like a, a more chunkier glitter um also like i do have this little thing here on the side um, yeah just like a whole bunch of brands that i have i also have a pair of size here this mix and yeah, I'm just basically tired of all the containers, all these little pots. I just want to put everything into its own um, little jar and for it to be all together. So yeah, I also do have these like iridescent um, powders. So just a whole bunch of big variety that I already kind of tried to organize here. As you can see, like I did with this one. This one has like a couple pinks and purples. So yeah also like here i do have the reflective glitter so yeah i just really want to organize everything that i have here into these new containers so that way everything can be organized and put together so what i am going to start off by doing is organizing the glitters into categories so into color because i do want to organize by color and i do want to organize if it's fine chunky or like a mix or whatever or if it has like extra stuff in it i do want to organize everything so that's what i will be doing first is putting everything into sections and and as you can see, I just don't want to point it out. Um, as you can see, like I have a bunch of glitters, but I also feel like I do have a variety and I don't want to get rid of anything because I feel like I do have like a little bit of everything. So yeah, I'm going to see what I have doubles of, what I can give away and stuff. So I do want to organize everything. So I am going to start off by doing that. I just emptied out my little um tray covered in glitter that was in here and actually look at that I do have two here left so I did already finish organizing all the glitters as you can see I need to clean this out but here is a better look of what I organized just so you guys to give you guys a little idea so 
here I put like all like the ones that I already do have together. Here I have my pinks, greens, yellows, um, right there I have reds, right there I have golds, um, orange, blue, purple, silver, black, and then here I did put mixes. And here I do have the ones that were in the bag, and then here I have the I do have some like jars, which I think these are acrylics. I don't know why they're in here, but we're gonna see. So I am gonna get started by going through the ones that I did already have. So I already have these um organized here. So these um I bought these containers are different. These have like this pink thing and they're clear still, but they are a little better looking. They're not better looking than these. I like these better. But these um as you could see, these came actually with two bigger jars. Um, I did already switch some of them out, as you could see here. But these come with two bigger jars, and then the rest are small ones like this. So these, I do already somewhat have organized, not really. But I do want to organize everything, like I said, by color, by what it is. So here, as you can see, I have more. This is initially what I first started it with, except this one. I did not have this one in here. I actually had... I'm going to say this one. I don't know. But I actually know it was actually this red one, I believe. Because I don't have red here. So initially, this is what I used to have. Like, these are glitters from like Walmart. Um, same with the containers. These containers are actually from Walmart. And as you can see, I have like the basic colors that anybody would. So yeah, I kind of just been using these mostly. So I do need to organize everything else that I have here on the table and go through what i do already have and what i don't so i'm actually gonna go ahead and start off by organizing these and go from there so that way i can just add on to my collection and then get these open so i am really, really excited so i'm gonna start off by opening these with my gold vintage scissors from bell's okay so i'm gonna get to opening these and going ahead and start to organize my jars here so i am going to start off by red honestly y'all i don't have too many red i just have these this is more like a holographic red this is like a red red and then this like funny like lined one so like i said i do already have the actual red that i do use and that one is this one right here because this one i did buy like a big one of like uh, containers like this from walmart so i do have a lot of that one so i don't think i feel like it is the same red but i don't know i'm probably just add it on to there so yeah i am gonna go ahead and get started with red and then go with like orange yellow and go on with like the colors hey, babe, babe.
as you can see, I just did some purples. As you can see, some light purple. So now I'm going to be going ahead and keep going with my dark purples. Like I said, this is how I'm going to be organizing them, as you can see here. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. honestly you never have like enough glitter as you can see like i have like a big big variety as you can see definitely make sure to comment down below if throughout you guys see some of the same ones because i don't know like i'm looking at some of them and i'm like well this kind of looks similar but it's different you know what i mean like you could obviously tell like a difference um so yeah so these are my golds and i do have like a couple here extra but now i'm gonna go ahead and clean really quick so i can get started on my whites on my silvers and yeah i'm really really excited as you can see i have a whole bunch of now empty containers so i'm getting rid of them as i'm going by the colors so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these and show you guys me doing the whites and the silvers sometimes we laugh sometimes we cry but i guess you know now
you could see, I did finish cleaning and I got my area back to clean. So I do want to show you guys really quick how they came out. So as you can see here, this first one, this is what the container looks like. As you could see, it is nice and too bright. So that's one thing I really liked about these new containers that I got was because they were clear and transparent. So you could pretty clearly see the glitters. Um, I really, really like them. So I would definitely recommend, as you can see, so... I did start off by organizing my reds into like brownish oranges, oranges, yellows into greens. So that's this first one here. And I do like that the little closure thing here is very secure. So I really like that. So this is my reds, oranges, and greens, and yellows. And then here, I do have my more greens. I have like teals, mints, and two blues as you can see here. And I will say some of the little jars here that I've been using, they're really, really good. This one's just kind of like an old one that I had, so that might that's why it might look different. You will see some of them kind of look a little bit different. So like I said, this is greens and blues. Here next I have, moving on, I have purples and to pinks, mostly kind of purples and like pinks. I do have this blue one here only because um, they're the only ones that I had extras of. So yeah, I kind of didn't really know how to like put them together. But I think on this one, I'm going to just like take off the lid, obviously, and push it in here somehow. So this is this one. And here I do have my pinks going into gold. So I have like light pinks, hot pinks. I also do have fine glitters and mixes in here. So yeah, just a little variety of everything as you can see. So this is that one. And same thing with this one. This one doesn't close right. I don't know if it's because of the container that I used. It was too big for it. I honestly don't even know. Or probably this thing isn't on right. I don't know. But that's this one right here. And then last but not least, here I do have my whites into silvers, grays into black. So that's what this one looks like. I have a big, big variety of whites, as you can see, as well as silvers and like holographics here. I do have extra compartments, as you can see here. So I definitely do need to get another case of these. So that way I could have all the containers the same. And so that way I can have more room as well. Because I not only have these extras that obviously don't have like a container to like be in, but also did not get to organize all of my glitters i do still have my mylar glitters that i need to organize as well as my reflective glitters some new ones that i just got so i probably will need to buy like maybe two more cases of these just so i can have everything nicely organized like i said here i still do have like all these little mylars in containers as well as i do have some extra glitters here and mixes that i have that i need to organize or either organize or just give away to you guys honestly because as you can see here i still have more glitters i do need to organize in my collection but i did think about it because i did not like this little jar it probably won't fill up the whole thing of these compartments so yeah you also do want to keep that in mind so like i said i have like the reflective glitters as well that i do need to organize as well as i do have this little chunky piece that i have but i might just keep this one in this case since it's already organized so that way i don't mess with it till now so yeah i definitely do need to buy more of these organizers but other than that i absolutely loved the way that i have my glitters organized now they are nice and compact i know where everything is at as well as everything is categorized and ordered so i really really love that and now that i can have everything nicely displayed so that way i don't have to like be digging in a box trying to look for glitter i have nice and color coordinated as well so that way i could see what i have and what i don't have so i really like these like i said i definitely do need to buy maybe like two or three more cases of these so that way i could finish organizing the rest of my mixes and stuff like that but other than that i absolutely loved how my organization came out as well as how great these containers are to organize not just glitters but i definitely feel like you could definitely also use these to organize charms to organize crystals to organize either um little rivets nail sequins but i definitely definitely recommend to organize your glitters in these these are perfect as well as they do come in a good size to hold so i definitely definitely love them as well so make sure to go get your hands on them if you guys haven't yet like i said again i will have everything linked down below and also 
I do want to mention because I know I'm probably gonna get questions where I get my glitters from. Honestly, I get my glitters from on them from Walmart, Target, Michaels. I also shop on Amazon. I shop with other shops as well, as well as with brands that I work with. They have really, really nice glitters as well. So make sure you go get your hands on them. And also, I do want to mention these are all just raw glitters. I do have a curl glitters separately. So yeah, definitely make sure to go get your hands on these. These are perfect for loose glitters as well as any other anything to organize to be honest so i really really recommend if you guys haven't used them yet i definitely recommend but other than that this is how i organized my raw glitter acrylics and i hope that this helps anybody if you guys are watching this video make sure to share make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and also remember to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to turn on the bell so you can notify to my upload i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed me organizing my glitters as you can see with my big rig variety so yeah. take this as a sign to organize your nail products whether it's glitter charms crystals whatever make sure to go organize and stay put but i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed and i definitely hope that this helped one of you guys like i said make sure to share and help out others as well but comment down below your thoughts and opinions as well as what do you guys think and also make sure to comment down below how do you guys organize your guys' glitter but make sure to go shop and i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed as well and see you guys in the next one and also stay tuned for some new videos you know